Good afternoon and welcome to Beads for Binary Bracelets. Today we will be, cre be creating paper beads which we will use to make the binary bracelet on July 15th, 2020. You will need the template found on the event page of the DeKalb County Public Library website. It looks like this. In addition, you will need glue. I'm using a glue stick. You will need toothpicks, clear nail polish, or a Mod Podge if you happen to have a Mod Podge medium, and then something to hold your beads while they are dry, drying. And I'll be using styrofoam. All right, it's time to begin. First, you will print two copies of the template. If you need to print now, you can print while I am leading the rest of the discussion. You're going to cut out the strips, saving the black and the white, because you're going to need 16 of each color for the project next week. You also need to cut out that additional one, which like I said, I'm using a pink. All right. I'm giving you a couple of minutes to cut those out. The simplest way for me to do it is to cut the top off so there is not a portion that I still need. And then I'll turn it over and cut off what was previously the bottom but it's now the top. Okay, what this is going to do is allow me to very simply cut each one. All right, we cut the first strip along the side of a black one. If you notice, there's a little piece of white that's showing. Um, it actually gives a little decorative color to your black bead. See? And I kind of like that, so I am using that. If you do not want the little white strip on each bead, then you can cut it close, more closely. And then I'm flipping it over now. We're going to clip it along the next side. Which gives us a complete black strip. The next time, it looks like I'm cutting out the black one, but in addition to the black, I'm also doing the white. So I am cutting it along the strip of the black. But if you notice, the one that's on the end is the white strip. So I now have a white strip to use in the activity. All right. And we continue C 
cutting the black, then cutting the white. Cutting the black, then cutting the white. Once you get to 16, black and 16 white strips, you have enough to begin your craft. And I will be using a small knitting needle, which is exactly the same size as my toothpick, but it's, it's longer and it's easier for me to use it that way. So I am going to give you a few more mit minutes to cut out your black and your white strips. Meanwhile, I am continuing to cut additional colors. Had we been able to physically do this at the library, we probably would have had solid colors for your beads. In this particular event, we are using office weight paper. So that would be about 20 pound. Uh, I wouldn't use cardstock because that makes it a little more difficult. If you have not finished cutting out your beads, pause the feed and resume when you have finished your strips. All right. Now that you have cut out your strips, we're going to start creating your beads. The process for cutting out your beads is to lie a toothpick at the wide base of the strip and begin rolling towards the narrow end. If you are using rolling away, you're going to do it in this format. You're keeping it in the middle of your bead. All right. Once you get two inches rolled or so, you're going to start applying glue. You're gonna continue rolling until you get to the end. When you get to the end, you're going to take your glue 
and roll it around your bead, which is sealing it. Because I was using the knitting needle, I had to slip the bead off and put it on on a, a toothpick. All right, and I'm making sure I seal it. All right, so now we're going to process our beads. You Again, you want to make 16 black and 16 white. I've done one of each already. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little glue at the two inch mark. All right. I'm putting the toothpick at the base. I put my fingernail in to keep it from sliding off and then you begin rolling. All right. I'll be able to tell when I get to part where the glue is attached with glue has been applied because it changes the program. It, it changes the texture of the office material. So now I'm going to go apply glue and then Continue rolling. This particular one did not have a lot of white on the ends. So it's going to be a more black product. At first, I was going to take a black marker and touch up the sides, but it actually turned out kind of pretty without it, so. All right, I'm down to my last two inches. And if you look at this particular one, the end is kind of gradient. So I'm pro I probably am going to touch up that before I seal it with the nail polish. All right. Right now, what I'm doing is getting some glue, applying it to the end, rolling it around on my two fingers, slide it off, and putting it on a toothpick. So what I'm doing right now is putting them on the same um, base that I'll be putting the nail polish on for when they need to dry. 
we continue with this particular one, if you notice, it does have a nice strip of white along the side. So it's going to be a, a totally black bead. All right. I am applying right at the base with my crochet my needle rather than and I'm holding the base with my thumbnail so when I start rolling they'll roll where, where I want them to. All right. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but I have glue on here already. The reason why I decided to do The paper beads was because I wasn't sure whether we would be back in the library. And even if we were back in the library, we may not have been able to do physical programming. And I wasn't sure whether you would be able to purchase your own beads. All of the project materials can actually be purchased at a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store. The nail polish or the Mod Podge, because they had Mod Podge also, can be purchased at a Dollar Store. The glue sticks at the box dollar store um the pony beads if you were using pony beads can be purchased at the dollar store or they can be purchased for 99 cent at the beauty supply store all right i'm grabbing some some more glue and sealing it Another bead. But the basic program for the the binary code is that they're based on black and white spacers with each letter being a combination. Which is why even though each one is made up of eight, some some can have seven whites and one black for the first letter. My particular letters will start with a C because my name is Candace. 
and it'll only have two black, in which case I have a lot of extra. Beads, but you can use the beads for lots of things. You can use them for necklaces, bracelets, keychains. I have one on my keychain. For my, with a couple of other. Um, bead crafts. I have a little Dr. Seuss bookmark, as well as some other things. So we're crocheting. Excuse me, we're not crocheting. We're curling. I continue to. Roll it up. I'm down to my last two inches. Once you get used to it, it's quite rapid. It's a rapid transaction. I grab a little glue. I put it on top and then roll it around. I have a complete bead. And just that quick, I have done three black beads. Okay. Again, I'm finding my center and using my thumbnail to keep it in place. Because as you roll it, if you're uh, a heavily dominant right hand, which I am, I have a tendency to roll tighter on one side, which would be my right side. And that is not something I want. I want the bead to be nice and centered. So I'm watching it. Oops, it slipped, but fortunately, I have glue on it already, so it didn't go anywhere. I am still gluing and rolling, gluing and rolling. And as you look, this one does have white along the side, so. And obviously it has white along this one too, because as I am rolling this one, it's got white on both sides. But that's gonna be a little different. That one's gonna be a nice 
I still haven't decided because some of them are mostly black, in which case I am just going to make them identical. I make them identical by coloring the white part. Well, no, I'm not going to color the white part because I will be using the nail polish. And once it's done, I, I can't go back to make it a solid black bead. So, and this one is quite pretty. I get a little glue. If you're using a uh, school glue or a uh, liquid glue, the part that will be easier is applying the glue at the end to seal it. This next one I do is, does have a bit of white in this part, but up, up at the end it does not. So that's going to give us a little bit of a different kind of gradient color. It seems like I could just put it down on a surface and roll it. But the problem with doing that is that it'll keep it A little bit uncentered. All right. This one's kind of interesting, also. Okay. We're getting to the last two inches. 
and I'm rolling, 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 rolling. All right. I grab some glue. I apply it to the outside of the end and then roll it between my fingers. And that is my bit black feed. All right, I'm going to do, oh, I think I have enough. I was thinking about stopping with the black and starting with the, the white, but I think I can complete the black and then get started with the white and then in about 15 minutes, we'll start. Applying the protectorant or the interesting. This one did not start out correctly. All right. We've got one inch Now we are up to the two inch and Going nicely. I'm still in the center. When you get to the white one, it'll be a little harder to center because it, it's all white, but the idea with the bead, and it's also possible for you to just do a, an equal bead, so it's just like a little block. What you want to do is keep your bleed be your bead centered. All right, I am sealing. This is number six. And I think, 
No, I'll do one more. I need to do the white ones. Uh, I'll wait. So that I have a... All right. So the difference for the black, the white bead, if you look, let's see. you can see on the back, you can see some of the black lines. Well, what I'm going to be doing is using the side that we did not cut anything out on. So you're not going to see the black when I roll the white beads. But we're doing the same thing we did with the black. I'm putting glue starting two inches below just so where I know where I am. And I can tell again because the texture of the paper changes. I've got my fingernail down at the base. All right, and I'm starting to roll. I don't know why this one is going so much faster than the black one did, but it is. The texture has changed, so I know that I have gotten to the part that has the glue applied to it. All right. Going to put a little bit more glue. And it's going well. Now, again, like I said, I'm using the back of the office paper so that you cannot see. The black on it. So you're just going to have texture as far as the bead is concerned. You're not going to see the color. We're down to the last inch. I get some glue. I apply it to the tip in the same direction I was rolling. And ta-da, the white one is done. That was interesting. I should have started the white bead two black beads ago. But even after we finish with the craft, you still do need to complete the 16 black and the 16 white beads, as well as 
the color choice bead. Call it your special bead. I used um, craft paper for my special bead. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but my this particular bead is pink, but it's hard to to um, distinguish it from the white on the camera. So I think I do have something in kind of a fuchsia that I'm going to use in its place. All right. We've got four more minutes before we start applying the waterproofing, be it Mod Podge or nail polish. It's where I, I get majority of my large group art supplies. Marge, Mod Podge, liquid school glue, um, glue sticks, nail polish. And get everything I need for a craft. For about five dollars. It's really helpful. Oh, I may get a third one done, maybe. I'll we'll see. All right. One more. Knitting needle is trying to get under my Chromebook. All right. This will be good. All right. Not bad. I have one minute until I get to the next portion and I am rolling up on the end. Excellent. Grab my glue. I'm applying it to the end to seal it and we are done 
with this part. Okay. All right. So the next part of our bead is to apply the waterproofer. And like I said, um, you can use Mod Podge. It does have a little brush on the end, just like the nail polish does. It's going to act as a water repellent. All right, so I've got some. I am applying the nail polish in the same direction that I made the bead. All right, that is our first black bead. Remember to polish in the same direction that you rolled your bead. So that it won't unroll, which theoretically wouldn't happen, but you never can tell. Oops. I lost a bead, but fortunately I only lost it in the I was just checking to make sure that I am going in the correct direction. You want to make sure that you don't get the nail polish or the Mod Podge on the toothpick because it may be a little bit hard to remove once it's dry. So each time I look at one, I am looking to see. And in this particular one, apparently I put this one on backwards. So I'm going to have to turn it over this way. Believe it or not, I have a cat who decided to climb up on my work surface. That will not do. So, As they say, when the cat's away, the mice will play. Interesting. Uh -oh. This next one is trying to come out. So we definitely need to seal it. I'm going to 
going to put a little bit underneath. even though they are theoretically the same diameter. That last one that I was applying the nail polish to was a bit looser. Okay. All right. Need to do some looking for. a color. All right, one moment. Okay, so I got a piece of orange, which will let you see what your completed bead looks like. Actually, that would be a pretty color for my separating or special. This one I'm doing is the white one. And as I do this, I notice that you can kind of see the black on the back. So so I do it. So it's possible that I needed to use 
either um, get a scrapbook paper or or I could have um, done what I normally do, which is use the original for the template. And that way it wouldn't be giving me a hint of a black stripe through the center. Oops. This one's loose. And it's also going the wrong direction. All right, as we are getting ready to end our session, I want to thank you for joining me in creation of the paper beads. And we will be using the beads next Wednesday in the binary bead program. If you have black and white pony beads, as well as a special bead or a special color bead, you can use them next week in the place of the paper bead. I will be using both just so you can see what they look like. And again, I want to thank you for joining me, me in the creation of paper beading. My name is Candace Ushery, and I can be reached at the Flat Shoals Library. Thank you.